Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, hope you're all doing good. It's a light one before bed. Just gonna do a quick video and then go to, go to bed because I'm tired. Um, just want to talk a little bit about the England game from the perspective of someone who hasn't followed the football for a long time. Um, kind of lost interest in it and playing to other things like boxing, UFC, and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, just um, lost track of who the England players were on the whole. I watched a few games like here and there, so I knew who some were like Saka and uh, Rashford and Cole Walker and people like that. Jude Bellingham as well because I knew he played for Blues and like um, I knew he played for Bellingham City at one point. Um, which is my hometown, so, um, yeah, um, so yeah, I knew a few of the players, but I hadn't really followed them properly, I watched the odd game here and there, like, very rarely, um, but yeah, to the game, it wasn't a bad game, really, um, I, I watched it about, I think it was about, 30 or 40 minutes in, um, Cole Palmer scored a great goal for England, um, quite a good, quite a distance away, I think it was, was it like a grass cutter, I think it was a grass cutter into the corner kind of thing, uh, or the solid net in, um, very good goal, um, yeah, um, Ballingham looked pretty good throughout the game. Uh, uh, who else? Um, yeah, they weren't a bad game. Um, Saka done some good, good little runs with the ball at times. Um, Ali Watkins as well. Um, we didn't do too bad really, um, I didn't think considering it was Spain and Spain had good form, so I've heard, um, so I've heard they've had good form, so like that Yamal looks really good um, and he's only 17 so he's got a bright future ahead of him, um, he's going to be, well they say he's got a bright future ahead of him, he's, got, he's only got a bright future right now by the sounds of it but He's gonna he's gonna do even greater things in the game, most likely. Um, and Nico Williams as well looked good. He's looked very good. He's scored quite a few goals for Spain. Um, so I've heard. So yeah. Um, but overall, it wasn't a bad game, and it kind of ignited my it ignited me wanting to get back into the football again. To be honest. Not the Premiership, I'm not that bothered about the Premiership, but the Internationals, because England done quite well, they got to the final and stuff, so, and, um, yeah, it was quite a good, quite a good, quite a good atmosphere and quite a good vibe, like, from the players to the fans and stuff, so, yeah, it kind of, it made me want to get back into the footy, to be honest, by the International game, so I think when next time when the World Cup's on, I'm gonna watch watch the England games like um I think I am if they're on normal TV anyway, which they should they usually are, so yeah, um so I'll be watching I'm gonna start watching them I think. Time permitting and responsibilities permitting, but yeah, that's my plan because I do miss I do miss the football. I remember when it was like Michael Lowin and Emil Heskey and Robbie Fowler and players like that. Um and even Wayne Rooney, like I remember watching those guys um, religiously, do you know what I mean, when I was younger. But since then, I kind of watched it on and off and I haven't really just kind of lost my interest um, a bit. Um, but yeah, watching the game tonight, it kind of reignited my interest again. And I'm familiar with a lot of the players now, like so... Um, I don't know what club teams to play for or anything. I'm learning that as I go along, but um, 
as far as seeing them play for England and getting familiar with them, do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I just wanted to say that, guys. Um, going to get back into the footy again. Um, start watching watching England again and some of the international games when when the international when the when the uh, internationals are on um yeah I put I wish I'd have watched more games in the Euros now but I've had a lot to do with my course and stuff and just yeah I just didn't make time for it really but watching the game tonight made me realize how enjoyable it can be so yeah, so I think I'm, it's reigniting my passion for watching England play or watching the watching the fo football again, the internationals at least, and the Europeans. So, yeah, that's all I want to say anyway, guys. Um, let me know what you thought of the game uh, in the comments. If 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 you want to say anything, if you don't, don't worry about it. But um, I know there's going to be a lot of disappointed fans. Um, I hope Cole Walker doesn't get too much of a bad rap because he's he he's he's he does try hard for England and he's he's a good I like I like the guy so admittedly he messed up with the defending but but yeah <laughs> these things happen sometimes but I still think he's played quite well for us at times so but everyone's I haven't followed them, so just from the games I've seen, he's played okay, but I haven't followed them at all, really, so I wouldn't know. You guys may think differently, or may... Yeah, you may think differently. You may know better than me, basically. You may know better than me, like, um... Because I haven't followed them, like I say. But, yeah, uh, and Southgate as well. Um, he's been... I think he's been manager for eight years now. So, um... I think I think they're due enough a manager probably Matt perhaps he's got I think he's gonna see if he wants to carry on or not but but yeah maybe they're due another manager now he's done well like he might want another go to see if he can get him that fight that final way but because um a lot a lot of Pundits are saying he's like the nearly man at the moment, like he's nearly got us there, but not quite. So maybe I'll want another crack of the whip, I don't know. Um, we'll see. But anyway, guys, it's just a little review of the England game. Not much of a review, but just a little talk about my reignited passion for football again due to the game, watching the game. So yeah, that's it, guys. Really tired now, so I'm going to leave it at that. Take care, God bless, much love, and I'll be back soon. Take care, guys. Bye.